It's that time. Ready for the Western Conference matchup. Boomer here, and I'm here with my, my secondary commentator on the side for the pregame show. It's Life Ray. Hey, folks, what's up, everyone? It's another playoff time, and we are ready to see what goes in. That's right. The next game matchup, as I'm about to have you introduce, is the New Orleans Pelicans, and they are facing against the OKC Thunders at Oklahoma City. This matchup, as we've seen this one before coming into an inbound, we've seen what goes in with a number between the matchups right in between. And as all it does turn to be, this game has it all. Let's see who will take it all with the next win. For next commentary, I will have it's set of beats, and he's also along with Test Tube, and along on your side over here is Wit Spoonie, and the commentary will be on the course. Starry lineups in between for the New Orleans Pelicans. C.J. McCullough, Herbert Jones, Trey Murphy III, Zion Williamson, and Jonas Valanciunas. On the other side is Shane Gilkortix Alexander, Josh Gaines, Blue Jane Stewart, Jillian Williams, and Chet Holmgren. Let's get started at Paycom Center. We'll see you all later for the post game show after this. And the last game will be all calling for in LA the Clippers battling against Luka Doncic, the Dallas Mavericks. Here we go! First game of the Western Conference starts now! Let's be done with the same team, all the Noe Pelicans. Let's go for Trey Murphy to throw. The shooting guard, Herbert Jones. That's an herb. Yoris Valanciunas. And the other forward position, CJ McCullough. And the other forward position, Zion Williamson. Yeah, coach, very early in Pelicans, Willie Green. Introducing the power on ball, the Thunder, your OKC Thunders. And for a four position, number five, Lujan Shore. And for six pages, number three, Sharks. Starting guard in position, this is for prime. Number eight, Sherry Williams. At the third position, this is for Terry, number seven, Sherry Holmgren. And starting at point guard position, Six, 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 number two, Shay Kill Gorgeous Alexander. That goes for the OKC Funders Martin. Everyone, thanks for tuning in for the NBA playoffs. It's a number nine here at Paycom Center. As right now, we are ready to take the first game here at Oklahoma City. I'm Son of Beast, and I'm here with my broadcasting partner with Tusk Tube and Wood Spoonie. Allie LaForce is here on the sideline as also. The great matchups are in between of CJ McCollum and Shay Gilgoyne's Alexander with the starting groups of the key matchup. They are ready to bring things on to start this off as the OKC Thunders made their way to return to the playoffs after missing many games of the season back then. Now this is what we were talking through it. Willie Green and Donaldo of Greg, they have a lot of them to take all of their head coaches right in between. Let's find out who can take their next one in. Well, I have a lot of 
them in the ring to you. This one may not be easy enough. They've been playing it before, like, since I've you get to recall this one here, for the Thunders against the Jazz. This wasn't their day like that. But as you always notice, this was a day like they, they already have been playing it so far, and the longer they do, the better they have it. We start things up here, all field and ready to go. Shaggy Gordon's Alexander, Sunshine Jim McCullough. Big Jonas Valanciunas is on home break. We're on the other side, we have this Jalen Williams on Williamson. And finally, we have it here across Lucia and Stewart. Right on to the other side of it, again, right over to Herbert Jones. With the start of a drive, this one ties the game up as Williams will have it. He now finds Gilgorius Alexander, and now Giddy is in the corner. Giddy now finds it over again to Jalen Williams. Williams passes over to Door. Door brings a bounce pass, and that losses the ball, and this turns it over to Nolene Ball. Oh, that one's not very really good out there. I was not even seeing it what the past has been going. You know, they should have been doing it like that. They can't let that one get away with this. All they say now because no other player has done their best, the routine is not going to even keep on coming there if they have it all right down on the board. First turnover for the OKC Funders with seven minutes on the start with the passing them, passing the mark of the minute. And McConnell, step back with a two. That two pointer misses off the Marcus. Right now, Holmgren has his first rebound. Holmgren always knows he can definitely take his first rebound. All can do, make that one clear if you get there. Holmgren now finds Gander Williams. Now finds Gregorius Alexander to finish the arc. The layup goes in for Gregorius Alexander. He has his second bucket of the game. Oh, I know that one. <laughs> it, it just had to be like him. I mean, all for once. Have to be like him when you ever need him to go. Murphy lost that ball, and Dort gives again to Gilbert Alexander. Over oh, CJ McCullough, he's fouled. So that will be his first personal foul for the New Orleans Pelicans with 619 to go. Now, I was not even seeing him what goes in there because Gilbert Alexander was trying to finish the drive, and that was the only way that he has been playing it so long and ever. After his time has been come by, they're ready to bring their team in the playoff round. It's the first free throw. All you see got to say now, Jay Gordon's Alexander. He's one of the biggest men here of the month. And I may not know you have that feeling if you can get all of your respected learners to have that permitted right onto your way to give that one over with the league leaderboard. That second free throw hits down. I see no one coming in because Jay Gordon's Alexander does all be fine. Might be seeing it. What goes in if they get it done? Ball ain't rolling out. Herbert Jones gives off to Valanciunas. What a great team here by Wongren. And Giddy now finds again to Wongren with six minutes remaining in the first. Now Giddy will have that ball. On the March 22nd, this happened to be the regular season against the New Orleans Pelicans. But as for all that to be, the last part of the game was nowhere to be near it. Well, it just happened to be like, it's a great way to have that whole, whole communicator and respond. Now, you may never guess it of what they do because that happens to be all of it for at once. Keep that ball in motion because they really have to keep on coming down right away. And that's what they always do. They don't let them cool down. They never slow to cook down. They never want to get moving, moving fast enough. They really have to make sure they can get that one in there in time. And now he finds Giddy. Giddy to go for three. Triple range went off the mark and it goes right back the other way to the Pelicans. And Jones has the ball. Trying to step back. Gives again the ball chance and McCollum will have it. Try to move it inbound to give to Valanciunas. Over the shot. Deeper by Holmgren. Oh, Williamson. Made that one with the rebound. Put it down in. 
Now I never knew that Williamson was able to do that. That is like a, a crazy over in your head. <laughs> that was just what I was being always looking for. That is the biggest highlight. Oh, get out of here with that, Williamson. That's what no one does. My gosh. Alexander up. The two quarter misses the mark. He's gonna have to be a hard one to take. I mean, don't get that one uncomfortable. Williamson misses the rebound. Valentinus tries to get over on Shaky Gorgeous Alexander as McCollum on door. With the three, rolls in and out. Now he has over a home run. Gorgeous Alexander's got his first rebound of the night, now giving him again to Giddy. Giddy. Oh, trying to put up an angle break in here, but didn't want to go with that. Williamson. Williams. And where's Alexander Ramon Chimenez? Lamp good. He is guys eight points in the game against the Pelicans. Well, you know what now? Point guards don't quit on that muscle here. They don't really mess things up because you don't take away from him. Timeout called by the New Orleans Pelicans with only 3.36 to go in the first period. Now I have to ask you what it is. What do you think will the next playoff possession for the next year in 2025? Well, I'm not sure if this will be like, you know, I am I'm not even pretty in I'm not very hundred percent sure, but this might be uh, despite what they're feeling of that ranging in there, it can be a little bit difficult range. They may not be showing it what they really are. But as you promised now, they really are trying to like step in for the crowd. They don't really want to get all of everybody's idea. And the situation for this one keeps on coming in down. I never see what spotted it so quickly. They really wanted to get this thing over it and done. The faster way, the more picking we go, they've got to get that one through here. And then hopefully by then, the Thunders maybe will come back into the playoffs with that possession. We'll find out if they do it well. And the new substitutions are on the court as a couple players are checked out and a couple players checked in. Cody Sellers checked in as right now we have a look at the standings for the three-point position. They have a 38.9. They're in second place. But it's a good thing is for the three-pointers. They were really uh, keeping their way in, in for their lineup. When they really wanted to get this one starting grip, they must say, oh, whoa. That one's going to be high flying in the starting group. Well, Ben's point never see all that one coming. And as I mentioned before, they really have to be pressurizing if they can get that one there. No spawn. Now he finds to get a door. Bounce pass to Wallace. Alvarado covering on him. Three pointer from home. Hayward. Oh, yes, you do. Gordon Hayward with his first three pointer. Top of the range up by 11 to 6. They lead by 5. Well, after Gordon Hayward playing it off that one, I really would tell you now that one turned to be like its greatest appearance right at this point. After playing with the Charlotte Hornets, he now wants to say, is, I've had a great feeling here for the Thunders. They've got it all coming in there. Since every season, he definitely played with the Utah Jazz in the start. Then the second one comes to be with the Boston Celtics before the, the Hornets. And now his next appearance is to play with the OKC Thunders by Shane and Gordon Alexander. That's all you can do because when, when Gordon Hayward really has it all in coming in as an attacker, they really want to make sure he definitely wants to stay in a good spot. I know he can, but let's face it, the fact is, keep on coming. The turnover's been taken over as the Thunders will have their possession. The turnover put up on Pelicans, now switches is over. Yeah, it's a bad idea, but because of what the problem is, he stepped over on the uh, sideline. That must have been a problem for the, uh, the Pelicans. They can't really get that one enough to get that through. That's a hard one. Nobody has to deserve what they get. You worry, Alexander finds Wallace. Up with the two! First shot goes in for Ben Wallace. Now with the first one comes in for a game for Gordix Alexander. As right now, here's another take for Alvarado. Alvarado trying to backstep it. Double man cover. Zeller, double man in defensive set. Larry Nance Jr. on door. 
Hawkins on the verdicts, Alexander with the screen, up at the two, it's good. As this one comes back down by three, passing a 90 second mark, here's Gordon Hayward. Has him now over again, to Paul Grant. He's the back stepper, back again to Hayward. Now finds again to Wallace. Wallace, up for three. Decided to take one in and he finally got it. Oh, I just really saved that Wallace for the half show to three. I mean, what is the go ahead motion out there? What's up with Wallace? And Marshall, cutting it back, he's fouled. Cole Grant with his first personal foul, and there will be their first team foul. Second team foul for the OKC Funders. Marshall is at the free throw line, shooting two with under a minute to go in the first period. While it's not what you do, because Marshall really has to be like a pressure on the tackler. He just really wanted to score it, and it's not what you do. You don't try to take over the Funder way. You have it on your own to keep that one out of sight. The first miss comes in for Marshall, and with a new substitution coming in, just three players are checked out. Dort to Gordon Alexander or Holmgren are checked out as Joe Wiggins and Williams moves it over. It's the second one, and that will be cutting in for the two free throws to make. Now ready for our attacking. Here's Wiggins. Fine again to Hayward. Hayward gives again to Wallace. Wallace tries to step it back, now finding again to Wiggins. Shoots over for two. It's good. Wiggins finally had that first bucket in over Gary Nance Jr. Now I know what Wiggins really may have told of that. He might be going in to try to keep up his score in the digit. Might be running in from behind if he doesn't. Alvarado over Wallace. No good with the two. Williams with his first rebound of the night. Try to look for some some number of rebounds to take in in game number one and two. Clocky winding down as Wiggins now gets again to Williams around the layup over Ron Zeller. He's good as Williams will have his first bucket in. Yeah, it's easy enough now. Keep that go. And Marshall will close it off for the first period of a 20 to 13 game. And there you go. That ends the first quarter here. A great start run for the Thunders. They lead by seven. We'll take a quick break and we will get back to you shortly after this. Welcome back to the NBA playoffs as you're tuning in for the playoff position. We got the second quarter coming underway. Now, to say about Shaky Gordy Alexander, he's been really like trying to participate and then help his teammate out to get under pressure. Well, that's what happens now because they really do much if they can. But in that case, they really just need to make sure they have that one at the right position at their own time. It may not be what they do, but how much you get things done, you have a lot of timing to get this one over me and make that one clearable. It's what they do. They don't want to make that one mess them up, and they don't want to get them clear here. We start things off in the second period, as right now the start comes in. It's right now five players are ready. Wiggins, he's along here with Murphy, with Murphy the third, but it's Williams here on Balanchunas. Right over in the corner, we have it again. Right over now to Herbert Jones here on Josh Giddy. Then it's Wallace, he's here over here on CJ McCullough. And lastly, all going for Zion Williamson against Williams. That pointer can't end off the mark. Williamson, ready to attack it, loses the ball. Now here comes the fast break, Wallace up with the two. The rebound puts in here by McCullough. Well, he would have finished that one in there, that could have been a chance. Still in the way, here comes Williams. Layup in, good. Williams with his first bucket. On the other side, keeping it going. Well, there's two Williams actually, you can call that one here. One Williams shows up that it's always here. And the other one, number eight, it's all what they say is another Williams can definitely try to keep our names going. I don't know if you may never know what it's going to be like, but hey, 
Let's face the fact. Maybe it's maybe another Williams or not? You may never guess. And now he finds another Williams. Back again to Wiggins. Up at the two. He loses the ball position and goes back again. Over to Jones. Well, Robert Jones really have to keep that one out of here. It's just not their way to get their face through. And you don't have to take all of the time if you want to get this thing over. Williams, finding it at Wallace. He now has it over again to get Josh Giddy. Giddy, again to Wallace. Three-pointer for Williams. Good range outside, and three-pointer makes it in for the OKC Thunders. As Williams has five. For all the pointer know, they need to make that one helpful. Two-pointer for McCullough. It's good. And then we're assist puts in for the Pelicans as Zion Williamson will have to take one here. You know, the key ranging in this one that Ben Wallace saw when he had to make that one a lot of change up in the motion. Sometimes he gets the threes. But I'm guessing that CJ McCollum wants to get the three in there. But this time, that play comes in helpful right away. Been done really good. Keep that one out of sight and range. Just do what you can do. I'll never miss by the OKC Thunders with five minutes remaining in the first half. And now McCollum will have it over now again to Williamson. Here's McCollum trying to go in. The step back. Give to Valachunas. Oh, what a dumb jams in. OKC times time call with under five minutes remaining. Well, yeah, I guess it happens to be like this. I mean, nobody liked that one at all. We're nearing the five minute mark, but we're under five minutes remaining here in the first half period. Coming up will be the halftime show. As right now, Ernie Johnson, Kenny Justin, Ben Chagrinio will be taking his time and back on the studio for the third game of the night and the first game in the Western Conference on the other side to show what they do a bunch of timing possession of their game. It's probably going to be in between for the Thunders and for the Pelicans. They've been doing a lot harder than they were keeping it straight. All because they do, they really wanted to make sure that they keep on their coming down and hopefully we'll see when the score comes in and the next bucket gains points or cuts the lead digit down. That's what happens now. I mean, I can definitely say they can definitely like keep that one all over it. I mean, just do what all you best. All you can make is try hard and respond. Yeah, it's true. I definitely would love to hear that one right away. So that's the halftime show coming up after the game. Now with a new group substitution going on the court, is right now as home play is shut up in. With a new lineup change, it's right now the league leaders of the block, puts in for 6.5, tied up with the Timberwolves. You're in third place. Well, Blockish is out their way, and they really have been stepping it in between. All the time racing in by the blocking, if they go on one on one attackers, they really are trying to show them up when they can get there done. The faster it is to pick up the play it goes, it's a more defensive way that they can just try to answer it and reject the shot. Well, Jody Alexander, three, he misses off the right, right angle, and this one goes rolling in and out. Here's McCollum's shot. That goes in. CJ McCollum has two more buckets in. And a reporter from Alley Little Force. As right now, he will have that one taken in there, and that's an offensive foul. Now it goes back the other way as the OKC Funders have another turnover to take. Oh, uh, that can be a little difficulty on that one, but this is not what they do. But I can't let that walk down. Yeah, bad call, I gotta say. It's a great defensive settling, but don't let him get away with that. And another foul goes over. They turn it over the same thing. Oh boy, the back to back switch. Never gonna get that through. As right now, as I look for stands in by, as he talking to one of the head coaches here, as Iron Williamson really has that one strengthening. But for Shaggy Gordon Alexander, he has been really been talking to one of his assistant coaches. He been really has been wanting to get this one thing over, and he says, Yeah, hey guys, can I just take another shot in here? I've got to take some more time. He really wants to do that one in here. Don't you think this will happen to make the occurrence out of him? Well, especially they do. I, I guess he wants to do more. Because if it happens most of the time, I guess you may never got it. Oh, if, they, if they can get that one another three-pointer or two, I mean, he's going to get that shot right. Hopefully he will try to keep that one playable. But call him up. Count the bucket in one. 
Holmgren will have his first personal foul, and another team foul will put up for the OKC, for the OKC Thunders. And now for the Pelicans, it's all four players to check out, and all four players to check in. Hawkins Jones, Marshall and Nance Jr. checked in. One shot remaining for CJ McCollum. And he makes it free throw. Pelicans throw by four. Now with Williams. Getting in the corner to go for a wide open look is good. He has been knocking down with the three pointers. They are finally answering it right away. While Josh Giddy was all cornered up, it says, hit me target. And he did. Well played in that, but sir. Another wrist by the Orleans Pelicans with 3.10 to go. The word is Alexander trying to get an answer back. And now finding Williams. Up with a two. It's good. Williams with 10 points. With three minutes remaining and a final three minutes in the first half. Here's a pointer. Trying to hold on with the ball. Can't hold on with the layup in there as Holmgren takes the ball away. And Dort. Untouchable, and the last gun goes to C.J. McCollum as the Thunders will regain their possession. And now Alvarado checked in for C.J. McCollum. Always going to check him out for sure. That, that's what they do because they really need to make a lot of change here. Williams is checked out as Hayward's checked back in. The Gordon Alexander finds Kitty with 2 for you to go. Three pointer for the Gordon Alexander. Good! What a shot for the Orleans Alexander! 11 points in a game! But uh, that's what you know the Canada does? Oh my! I must just say, this one keeps on coming. Two pointer makes it in as, as another one steps inbound as Najee Marshall has 7 points. The Orleans Alexander finds keyboard. Not give a gun to Diddy. Here's another one for Tor! And then so a three-pointer can at the range, and this one misses again. Pelicans trail by ten. Rolling in, Alvarado over Gordon Alexander. It's a tough shot, and he makes that one in there. Alvarado finally has his first bucket in there, back down by eight. Well, you're never going to get it in long that way. It sometimes happens. They kind of get that thing over pressurizing them. Crowd Channing, OKC, as he finds again to door. Hayward, takes the shot, gives it Hayward, over for two, good. Gordon Hayward with five points, passing a 90 second mark in the first half of the period. Alvarado trying to swing it over. Without the screen, ball's taken by Holmgren. Hey, hey, we're at a one-on-one -on -one fast break. Oh, we're learning that shooter's good. Oh, man, just did see that hey, we made a great try, and he has seven points. Well, that's what they do. Hey, we really just made this one an easy call. I just tell you that Hayward can just try to keep it going. The layup rolls it around as he goes in towards the net. They're back down by 10. All field goal range, maybe not everybody idea, but you may never know how you can get that back. Gregorix Alexander now finds again a Hayward. Hayward swings again to Gregorix Alexander. Six on the shot clock, and he's going to get there, and it's good. Kitty has this two bucket made, one for three and one for two. Just have to be easy enough to get this one comfortable. I get for it there. Alvarado laying the time wind down. Alexander on him. Down to six on the shot clock. Take the deck for the three. And it missed it off. And so that is a 42 30 game. OKC's moving it out over by 12. We'll take a quick break and get ready for the third quarter. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports.
Now it's time for the 2K Sports Cat Tag Show. Hey everybody, let's get this thing over right in between as we start things off right in between of the Thunders and Elephants. Jay, the Brewers Alexander has finally got that one with the great players in between. He has been really been knocking it off right in between. And as you may know, he's been like keeping it on. Let's have it over to you, like Frank, of the Thunders. They have been going really well. I know they're trying to like smoke them out. I mean the first game can able to handle it off if they can. And what are you do, Boomer? For the Pelicans. The Pelicans are having a little bit difficult time and they may might be thinking, they gotta get that one over. Probably they're gonna need to try to step things up and get ready for an extra. Well, no sign for them, but we'll see them in the final game. And we'll be right back with you for the post-game show. Thanks for joining us for the halftime show. Let's go back to the court. And we welcome you back at Paycom Center, ready to start the third quarter in OKC. Talking a big moment here as Shane DeGordon's Alexander has it all coming in down to be on the biggest chain that he has ever been playing in this accomplishment. 11 points, 1 rebound, and 3 assists. Well, I'll say that. It's not what they always say that J.P. Gordy's Alexander has been coming in for. Point guards are excellent, but when you think about combining it over, you may have a lot of different range on that feeling. You may have it all, but you can. We start with the second half as all field players are ready to get hydrated and back on the court. Williamson is on, is on Williams. Ben Dort, he's over on the other side. Oh, my! I think that pulls in with the pulling bound to have that dunk. Oh, even if they wanted to silent that crowd, huh? Then it's Giddy. And right now, over back again, it's Shady and Gordix Alexander. And it's Holmgren right toward the middle. And finally, we have his door. Over on the other side, trying to look over. Giddy for three. Good! And outside goes in. As Giddy has eight points and Dort with the six. Well, you can feel the energy crowd. I think they really love Giddy's three pointer range. Over Jones in the middle. Slow away by Holmgren. Oh, that's what you do to try to step that out of here. <laughs> wow. I just really say Holmgren just got to deliver it all. What oh, my goodness. That's a big swat. Just can't get it. Leave him here. Now McCollum will have the ball now over again. Trying to make a spin move in. The two-pointer can't go in. George's got it now. Not finding Williams. Williams tries to give it again to Dork. Dork trying to answer it in. He now finds it again to Holmgren. Holmgren tries to get the pass. It's deflected off the ball by CJ McCollum. Thunders with only, with only seven seconds to shoot as we look at Shea Gordix Alexander. What do you think of him? Well, I think he's really well at it. I mean, you got to give that one credit to the point guard position. He does all. I mean, no question. I mean, they really just making sure if he gets that one in done, that's what he do if they can get this one done. Right. Holmgren with another bucket, and he has his first bucket of the night. All quiet around, just got defended, but now he finally has it. Now he finds Valentunas with the ball. And Murphy, screen of Valentunas. In a drive, and that breakdown puts in for the OKC Thunders, as Murphy will have the first bucket range in. Yeah, I know that's going to be like a hard take, but not really what they all do for. They don't want to let them leave behind. Stepping over, that finds Williams. Giving in a home grand layup, and they do the same thing. Williams will the assist, and this one comes to be under a pointer. That's the second bucket. Time on ball by the New Orleans Pelicans with 5.46 remaining in the third. Just a lot of time motion comes in great, and they are ready to kick their in in the game two if they win this game. Yeah, the last CD has to go through. I mean, just go on happening. All easy guys to bring it on. That's what they always do. Home grid swiping. The NBA playoffs in 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers, a moment that inspires. 
Ruffles, the official chip of the NBA. And by Starry Lines. While we're working on our way, let's have a look for tomorrow night's game, as this one will be the start one to take over, as we get about to see the second seed versus the seventh seed. The Bucks are ready to take on with a rematch against the Miami Heat, as they will be heading their way to Pfizer Balfour for the first game happening here at 12.30 p.m. here at the Eastern Conference of the game. Following along with the second game, here will be the first versus the eighth seed, as it right now will be the Celtics facing against the Sixers. Points off the toe to was 21.7 as they are in first place. And following along here with the next part of the game that will be happening back in the Western Conference will be all for all to take. As the Suns take on the other team of the Timberwolves. And finally, we have as the Nuggets, the defending champion of the NBA 2K Sports, facing against the Golden State Warriors at Ball Arena in Mile High. Now, they really want to be out there. I mean, what everyone can do, they really need they have to maintain it quite and get the pressure in just accountable to get this one over. I have a lot of them of what they can do they can try to stop one. And Gordon's Alexander missed the three. Five minutes remaining in the third period. Williams there, he goes up. Oh! I don't believe it. But Williamson must have had a two-hand jam, and this one may not be what you're looking at. But that is like, wow. In that poster, it's just not always you want to do that. I mean, don't judge him at that. That was an excellent replay with a slam dunk as for Williamson by AT&T 5G slam cam. Gordon Alexander now finds it over again. Three-pointer for Williams. It's good. Range outside makes it in. 52, 50, 36 is a score. And now they're looking to get more. McCollum trying to go back over on Gordon Alexander. Up for the three. And he misses again. Now Williams will have it again to the words to whatever Williams. And now back to the number Williams. Again to the words Alexander. Now back again to Williams. With the elbow, and that one goes in. Made that one with a good one shot, and he goes back over with a 54-36 game. They're running out to be out there for one at a time, and I batting to side and Williams got a good use of it. Oh, CJ McCollum, what a fancy drive this is, and finishes up with the layup. Well, I don't know if it was a layup. I must have said that over under the end shot, that must have been that. I don't know if it was, but oh my gosh, what a nice one taken. Giddy decided to give the screen for Williams. And indeed up. Josh Giddy with another two-pointer. 56 to 38 is the score. He has 10. All you know what Josh Giddy does, he get this thing over and get it. A finish up to make that scoop in. Finishing layup, can't pull it in. Murphy on door. That's set. Good. Number two pointer putting it in as right now we're approaching the final three minutes in the third. Jordan now gives the game to door. And it's with Lord Alexander now again to Giddy. Giddy now finds Williams. Williams tries to move his way down back to Giddy. And now over again to Gordon Alexander. Fade a shot. Three for Giddy. Unable to connect the number three pointer as it misses again. Well, the shooting are not enough to get that perfect save. Not at the right time, but that is not what they always do. They do not really want to anticipate what they do because that speeding is not going to help them take over it at the time of the start. Gordon Alexander now finds Giddy. Looks over to Williams and now he gets it back again to Jordan. Just six on the shot clock. Giddy up to finish the drive and he makes it in. Giddy has 12 points. Now racing it back in, back to CJ McCullough. And now they will take their timeout with nearing the two minute mark in the third. We'll take a quick break again and we'll get ready to go back and resume the play.
Well, they always say draw skinny with the cutting drive. I'm thinking that they have been doing this again. Just keep it alive over and over again. They done really well. Thunderloud City in the area of Pecom. New substitutional changes here for the OKC Funders and for the Pelicans. Now in the number one as Kante Williams is checked in. And only now with two minutes remaining in the third. Towards on Marshall. Tries to give off to Hawkins. Giddy. Nance Jr. now finding again a Marshall. Five on a shot clock. To beat the attacker, and he's fouled on Kente Williams. As this will be his first personal, and a team foul will put up for the OKC Funders as a number free throw coming up for the Bulletins. And, and Marshall is a free throw line shooting too. Well, I thought that would be like a clean one to take over because sometimes if he didn't start really well, it sometimes gets a little bit harder for the Pelicans to try to score their drops. I mean, they're not going to let that one score them big. And they can try to keep on coming down there. If Tapper doesn't get this thing well enough, it doesn't really happen to most of the people. Well, when Marshall makes the first free throw in there, and now they'll get another free throw coming up. Well, because if it happens to Marshall, he just really has a lot of a lost regression in that point. And the midway is the mark is to take all of his contribution and he just got to make sure he gets this thing finished. And over with the timing angle, it may not be what you're looking at, but try to keep on whatever if you can. Here's an overlook for Haywood and now finds Giddy. Giddy springs again, now finding a door. Dirt gives again to Giddy. On a drive shot. It's good. Josh Giddy has 14 points. Leading the extension 60 to 41. And there's his spike door. Oh, uh, but you know, for now, I mean, I can definitely say that this one's going to be like a changing look in appearances. They've got one coming. Layup finishes a drive for Alvarado. Final minute in the third period. As good works, Alexander Duff gives the key work. Now Giddy up in the corner. Now gives again to Hayward. Tries to get over. Williams made the shot. Now finding again to good Gordon's Alexander. Five in a shot clock. Steps over with a two. Rolling it in and out. Basting Alvarado doesn't hit here. Alvarado on the Gordon's Alexander. He's over in to make the drive. Great team here by Jay Gordix Alexander, and now you again back to Giddy. Well, that's what the defender does. He made that one really well enough, and he can never get the quit to fight that one. That is a great pressurize that, that they all can definitely slow it down to. Gordon Hayward going back again to Giddy. Go Gordix Alexander to get a three. Oh yes, you can. Gregorius Alexander with 14 points with Josh Skinny, and it's now a 63-43 game. Oh, this sounds a killing. They ain't really good at all. And now in the third quarter here, they lead by 20. 63-43 is the score. Get ready for the fourth quarter in OKC. Three quarters complete. Let's have the last one coming in, and we will be right with you after this. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the NBA playoffs on 2K Sports. And I'm moving out to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. Now, let's talk about this one here. That the State Farm definitely had to show it off that the great pass puts it in here by Wiggins. And when you give it over to Williams, you make a drive out of it. All you can definitely say is it's just a, like a hard one to go in between. It may not be what you really want. But in that case, he'd be trying to do something a lot harder and get it in there finished. And now we start things off with the fourth quarter. Last groups are on the on the court. It's right now Williams, and he has it over with with uh, with Zion Williamson, Valentinus Jones, McCollum, and Murphy the third. 
are on the court. Meanwhile, as Wiggins, along with Williams, Ben Wallace, then again, again Joe, and finally we have his home grade in set. And that one wasted too much time as this one turns over to the New Orleans ball. And here's McCullough. Trying to look for his attacker, trying to get the bucket in. Spinning around. Up with the two. Misses again for CJ McCullough. You know, that, that attacker can't really just score in the drought already. This may not be what you really have been looking for. Every time this happens, you're never going to get this one easier enough if you can try to swallow it up. And Williams. Now finds show. With the two. Rolls in and out, another miss by the UKC Funders. Past the minute mark. Now we're on our side of the Pelicans. Tries to look up at her with the layup. Misses again. And now back to Holmgren. He now finds again to Williams over to get to Wiggins. Here's a three for Holmgren. Oh, that rolls in and out. And this one stays out of the zone. And this one goes back to McCollum. Well, that three-pointer is really a hard one to type. I think that uh, the professional three-pointer three, three -pointer buckets for each player may not be wanting to look for. So they say, no, let's just keep the flow out of here and then let's just try to like, keep that score in play. It's definitely what they do then to keep on scoring in the gap. Joe, now might again get a Wiggins. Wiggins. Gives the home break. Up with a two. That goes in. Another one for home break to take the bucket in. 65-43 as they're up by 22. Timeout call by the New Orleans Pelicans with under six minutes in the fourth quarter. That period is really like the whole thing that they never really wanted to get the site over finish. I'll be out there like a lookout shine if they got it all. And as we're waiting here for the LA, that's right now Paul, George, Kawhi Leonard, and the all the other teams here ready to take on against the Dallas Mavericks. That will be coming up later tonight as we will have that one on its way into Los Angeles. And we'll be the next commentator standing by will be Terry Cruz along with Meepo 4. Sorry, just Meepo. And then after that one will be the first commentary of the crew as I have his fan. And the last one will be on it will be again for David Aldridge. And that will be the last one here for the first day of the night. To talk about that key of rage out there. I mean, they don't really like they want to go back into the second round. Do you think they want to surpass them? Or do you think they will be staying out here and then come back in for the next new season? Well, I wouldn't say that they wouldn't be here uh, just for long. I mean, the world our it is, it might might be a lot of changes. I don't think they can definitely just try to leave on that one. They brought a good player and um, I guess the OKC Funders can definitely go again for sure. Now with the new substitution for the Pelicans and for the Funders is right now Murphy's on the court. Now he finds the pass to Williamson. Look to do for more. But that throw down won't take enough credit. And back again to Wallace. Wallace finds again a Joe. Here's a three for Williams. Could be. And that would be another three player in the mark with 18 points. The caller. Find again a Williamson. Williamson goes again. That throw down won't cut. And he will have to take the rebound here with one hand jam. And that jam is going to take all with his post post on the same. The take off with the rebound, and he's just all alone. Nobody's here to stop on that one. That's going to be a bigger problem when they get there. Now here's a pass to Williams, and now getting to Joe. Joe swings again to Williams. Four on a shot clock. Joe, up for two. And one in! Another two for Joe, and he has his first bucket. That's what they do. They just really wanted to have that good bucket tight. I'll show what you can't do. Jones, again to Williamson. Williams, 
back pressure in there. Good help for Wolmgren. And now Williams will take his own rebound. He's got his fifth rebound of the night. And now give it again to Wiggins. Wiggins six again to Williams. Three for Joel. He hits the one to deep downtown. 73 45 to score as Joe has five. Oh, uh, and you know what? What Joe really wanted to do? I think he's three pointer. He's allowed to do this? Okay, I'll take that. Why not? <laughs> That's all I could definitely ask for. And Wallace, again to Joe. Now finding now to Wiggins. Swings it deep to Williams. Williams now has it over to get a Wallace. Six on the shot clock. Williams trying to enter in with a scrummage. Wiggins over with the layup. It's denied by Galatunas. What a great block here as now over Jones will have it. Popped in, locked out. Galatunas will score the drowning drive. And here's Wallace. Hasn't scored yet in it, but still have his two, three, two points in the game. One for three, and over one for two. Now he finds it again to win it. Williams. Williams filling it out a little bit. Of an overhead pass. Here's Holmgren up, and a shot dart to Holmgren with his eight points in the game. Nearing down the final three minutes in the regulation period. And now Holmgren watching here. Valanciunas for three. And that one gets off target. Now he has it again to Williams. Finding again to Wiggins. Williams trying to hold it on. Pass again to Holmgren. Almost lost the puck. Ball as now Joe has it back. Williams now find Wiggins. Time running down for two. And good. Up and a fadeaway goes in for Wiggins. He has the second bucket of the game. While well, everybody's here right now, they really love to see him scoring the buckets. While the other visitors can't stay enough to watch the game, it seems like that they're really like been a hard one to try to show them off. And it may not be what you would have been thinking of if that happens to be one of the real games or not. Now he finds again to Joe. Just two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period, and now he finds Wallace. Wallace for two. Oh, yes, he does. Wallace with his seven points of the game. CJ McCollum waiting it deeply and now ready to get back again. Well, Grand fans starting to go quiet here. And this one gives it back again to Williams. Now again to Holmgren. Back now finding Wiggins. Gives a pass to Joe. Joe swings again to Watts. Watts, three pointer for Wiggins. That rolls in and out. Robert Jones on his way toward the middle, and that one shuts it down for number two pointer in the paint. Their bench outscoring the Pelicans by seven in the last part of the game here in the first half of the recap. Well, all what they do now, because they've been really, like, pressure it, and they just really keep it up while coming down. I just can't even sign it up if they can definitely score a bench, outscore them on the bench seven, but all that they do is to keep on trying to attack it. Show up, and that's not a time, no basket here. We're under five minutes remaining, and the last few substitutions are on the court. Three players are checked in right now for the Pelicans, as Williamson is checked out. Lance Jr., and then it's Zeller, and finally is Alvarado. Three players checked out as Williams stays on the court with Gordon Hayward, and another one for Williams is checked in. Here's Hawkins, spins move around Joe. Hayward on Marshall, 40 seconds in the fourth. He's up to finish it, and the drive will put in for number one to take. Well, just really have to do a lot of like, drives in between. I don't know how you can do, but it might be hard enough to go by. And Williams now finding it again to Hayward. Playing the clock wind down as Wallace will have his chance. Hayward, up for the deep three. You bet. 
Gordon Abram with 10 points. 15 seconds, last possession for the Pelicans. As they will have it again at Hawkins with the shot. And he misses again. And so the OKC will wrap it up with the win in Oklahoma City. 82 to 53 is your final score. As they pick up with a gigantic win to have all coming about, and they dug it all. While they say now, funders be loud as they pull the win. And that's what you can always do. Just give a credit over to the Falcons and make that quite full to make it come by. And that should do it for the game. We're going to be so long with Foot Spoonie and Test 2 Business Bit presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports for the playoffs. Thanks for joining with us and have a great night. Okay, thank you so much here you know, Mr. Son of Beast. And as of right now, we get this thing over to take a look at the total statistics. As right now, this has been a great match it, up in between for the second chance of the points, and there was like a lot of them to take. Yeah, I know. Pretty easy enough to say, but it's all what you can definitely do for, for one reason. Try to keep that one coming in bound if they want to like try to like pull up a stoppage. Hopefully they might do one. Well, there might be a block out there for the second game, so there could be one of our ways that could try to like keep on slowing it down or anything. Yeah, true fame. Here's how to do with the total statistics. 65 over 43 for the field goal range for the OKC Funders. 57 for the three-pointers made for OKC Funders. Then, the free throws was 60 for the New Orleans Pelicans. Then, four fast break points right in between. 44 points in the paint for the New Orleans Pelicans, along with the second chance points for 8. Meanwhile, on the other side, as this one goes over to the bench points with 28 for the OKC Funders, assists for 32, and that one may not be the only way that they could definitely keep on coming down. Then the offensive rebound was only just 1, but only 9 rebound has picked up here for the New Orleans Pelicans. And finally, we had all of it on defensive rebounds, 26 for the OKC Funders. Look like they've been stealing it away from them. All they have now is just show them what it does. Steals was 26. I mean, not for that. Well, three for Steals. Let's call that one in there. And the blocks was only two. Turnovers was only four. Team fouls was only one for the New Orleans Pelicans. Eight dunk, six dunks were performed for the Pelicans, 30 biggest lead, and time position was 18-29. And now, let's present your new balance player of the game. Starting off with number three, we get that one to go ahead and look, and this one will start up for Zion Williamson with 12 points, four rebounds, one assist, only had a six out of 13 field goal range, and only four dunks have made to keep that one coming. Yeah, and it's definitely what happens now. They just let him keep it rolling and then show him what you can fight. Now for number two, I'm going to give it over to Shane Gilcordix Alexander. 14 points, one rebound, five assists, and only inmates five out of nine field goal range. Two three-pointers, and after that, one 25 performance effort. Just really great. Show him what you can do. And your first star player goes to Jalen Williams with 18 points, 6 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, 7 out of 9 field goals, field goals remain, 4 3 points remain, and 34 performance effort for Jalen Williams. That is your new balance player of the game. Well, I guess that's it. Until for the final game, we'll see what they can do to try to hold up tight. And yep, that will be the last game right underway as the LA Clippers battle along against the other team of the Dallas Mavericks in Season 3. We're about to be finding out who can definitely win that one again. That will be great! In the meantime, peace out folks for a while as the NBA playoffs in 2K Sports style. This is Tyler Beast and Light Brain. Thank you for watching. Have a great night everybody in OKC Loud House along with the New Orleans Pelicans. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.